Carolyn Stitchbird. Welcome today. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a really cool cardigan pattern. Great for transseasonal um, wear. It's called the Harper Cardigan by Sinclair Patterns. It is a free pattern, which is great. It comes with four different views. There's sort of a cropped view, one just sort of hitting the hip, one just below the hip, and a duster, and it comes with pockets as well. It's all basically enclosed with bands, except for the duster one, where you have little side slits. Um, really easy to make. Uh, the only thing I would think about is you need quite a um, firm weight of fabric. I've just finished making one in some navy that I bought from my recent Auckland haul. And I think it's just a wee bit fine. However, I, I will still wear it. And I do have a pic of me wearing this one in the photos, which I'll put up here. Uh, it's just got a lot of drape. And I just sort of feel that you need something with a little bit more uh, substance. However, what I probably should have done is I probably should have used um, ribbing for the bands rather than self-ribbing. But that's okay, I'll still wear it. It's still quite a nice piece just to throw over a t-shirt in the summer. And my other one, which was the first one that I made, um, is quite a heavy fabric and I just feel it hangs a little bit better. Uh, I did use contrasting rib, which at the time I wasn't too happy about, but um, it seems to have worked out okay actually. So I did the pockets. And I do the classic length, which just sort of comes down just sort of just below the hips. It's a good length on me. So I have pictures of me wearing these two up for you. I've got some more fabric. Um, same fabric, but different colourway. So I'm thinking that I might make this into a cardigan for next winter. And I just think this rust colour just goes with so many of the um, navies and whites and things that it have. So I think that would be really great. Uh, I really recommend the pattern. The pattern comes with really, really good instructions. Photographic instructions. And it's all broken down into each step. So you're not having to guess, you know, some little bits and pieces um, that may be left out, but it's not like that at all. There's really comprehensive instructions. I pretty much did it mostly on my overlocker, except for the pockets. I um, top stitched them around. So everything else was done on the overlocker, really, really quick. And I just like how the band goes on. So you've got the lower band, and then you've got this um, neck band that goes right down and it just finishes the low band off. You've got bands on the pockets which finish the top of the pocket off. And of course bands on the sleeves which finishes the sleeve off. So it creates a really neat professional looking finish which I like. Uh, the pattern's got really good sizing from an extra extra small up to a 4XL so really great. Uh, here's another pack of the different views. So you've got the cropped view, you have the uh, classic view, and then the long line view, and then the duster view. So I've just made the one that's just got the pockets just before the band, and I find that's quite a good one for me, um, especially wearing with the tops that I have and jeans, it just sort of hits at the right length. So plenty of choices there. Anyway, that was a quick one today. So thanks for joining and look forward to seeing you next time.